Business Editor Richard Southern joins us now. Hello, Richard. Hey, Sen. Well, we have so much to talk about today, but let's start with another meltdown on the markets today. Yeah, it's the situation now, I think, that the or investors, they just want to hold cash. Yeah. And they're selling every, just about everything else across all the different asset classes. Nothing safe, not gold, not Bitcoin. Uh, the worry here is that a prolonged shutdown will lead to bankruptcies, not just for small companies, but for major corporations, too. We have the TSX today closing at about an eight-year low, down another 963 points on that benchmark TSX. Dow Jones Industrial Average, although finishing off the worst levels of the day, down another 1,300 points, about a three-year low. Price of oil, shocking even the most seasoned investors. When the bell rang, we had the price of oil down another 24% to 20 bucks and change. Uh, the Canadian price for oil down to $7.40 and change. Which is shocking. Cynthia, this is a, 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 a price for oil that is a bankruptcy price for companies. Yes. They cannot make money at this price. Uh, it's, it's great for us when we fill up the tank, but this is a devastating situation for Alberta. This is Absolutely. a we are going to see mass bankruptcies if this price holds in the Canadian oil patch. Now or no, the federal minister did say he they specifically mentioned Alberta and how they were going to try and help the the workers in Alberta. You're just going to need a massive bailout here. Airline stocks hard hit. Hotel stocks. We had the the head of a big U.S. Uh, 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 equity fund on on CNBC, the U.S. financial channel, saying he thinks Hilton stock is going to zero. What was up today? Blue Apron, the meal kit delivery service. Your home, you got to eat. Blue Apron stock up 151% today, Cynthia. Well, that's very interesting. Okay, so despite the sell-off, there was a massive stimulus package, as we were talking about this morning, as it was all coming down. Uh, tell me more about that and your thoughts on it. I ran into the finance minister today at Queen's Park, and he said, you know, this is a lot of money. This is They're, they're very supportive of it. It's a huge amount of money at 80-some uh, billion dollars. It's 3% of Canada's gross domestic products. So and half it's of, of the provincial budget, annual budget, half of Ontario's budget. It's astounding. Uh, but is it enough? When you look at the situation that we're in right now, that is the question. The emergency care benefit they're offering, which is $900 every two weeks, every two weeks for up to 15 weeks, for workers who don't have access to paid leave. So that's 1800 bucks a month. Is that going to be enough for someone living in downtown Toronto to pay the rent and feed themselves? I don't know. When it comes to the, the tax deadline, I think that's very constructive as far as pushing the deadline back to June 1st. If you owe money, you won't have to pay until September 1st. But to me, Cynthia, I look at this, and as big as that $82 billion is, you got to wonder, is it just the tip of the iceberg? Uh, tip of the iceberg. we got to bail out the airlines. What about the banks? Will they need money? It's tough to know if it's enough going forward. Well, the government did say, the federal government did say, this is a start. Yeah. So they did open the door to, to adding to this aid package for sure. And will we need to send a direct check to everyone as far as uh, doing that instead of going through these existing mechanisms? That's what they're thinking about doing in the States. Cynthia. Absolutely. Okay. So all of this news has the loonies sinking to a 17-year low, Richard. <laughs> sure is. We had the Canadian dollar. It's right now closing at 68.88 cents U.S. So that means uh, it's about you're going to need about a dollar and 45 cents to buy one U.S. dollar before any service charges. Weighing on that loony is the aforementioned uh, price for oil and the fact that that bailout package was three percent of GDP. That all sent the loony down today. As far as gasoline is concerned, we got to talk about gas as well. Uh, it's going up two pennies tonight, but then we'll go down two pennies on Friday. The uh, the tumbling price for the loony actually crimping what could have been another big drop at the gas pumps. So another wild day uh, here in the business center. Cynthia. And I sense many more to come. All right, yes. Richard, thank you very much. We'll talk to you again in the next hour. Thanks.